हेलो एंड वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर फोर अवर मेथड इज रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ मोर देन टू कॉन्कर फोर्सेस इज कंटिन्यू इन टूडेज लेक्चर इन द लेक्चर नंबर फोर आई विल डिस्कस ओनली वन न्यूमेरिकल एंड विच इज द मास्टर सम दिस सम इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड विच विल क्लियर लॉर्ड्स ऑफ फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ योर मैथ्स ऑफ योर फिजिक्स सो वी आर डूइंग जस्ट वन न्यूमेरिकल in this lecture so be careful what is given in the data in the example 3 what is given that determine the resultant of the forces 100 newton 200 newton 300 newton 400 newton 500 newton so total five forces are acting on one of the vertex of a regular hexagon now what is regular hexagon actually what is hexagon just forget regular hexagon what is hexagon what is pentagon okay what is octagon this is the mathematical figures towards the other vertices taken in order shown in figure you can see in the figure that this is the hexagon see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 there are six sides in the hexagon but what is regular hexagon hexagon means closed figure and having six sides but each closed figure having six sides is not a hexagon how let i will explain you suppose this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 and this is 6 so this is also a closed figure having six sides but this is not a regular hexagon correct why because the in the regular hexagon the angle between each two sides should be equal remember carefully angle between each and every side should be equal like this you can see in this figure this angle this angle this angle this angle this angle and this angle all the angles should be equal while in this hexagon you can see let us change the color you can see this is first this is first this is second this is third this is fourth this is fifth and this is sixth so all six angles are not equal so this is regular hexagon this is not a regular hexagon okay so the figure which is already given in the data is a regular hexagon so this is the first fundamental what is regular hexagon and what is irregular hexagon so let us come back to the topic now it is a regular hexagon now what is the property of regular hexagon first of all six sides are such that they are making equal equal angles now one more thing what is exterior angle in the regular hexagon what is exterior angle if you have listened to me if you are heard about anything like exterior angle what is exterior angle is equal to the formula for the exterior angle is 360 remember this the formula for the exterior angle is 360 divided by number of sides so what is the number of sides in the hexagon number of sides are 6 so the answer will be 360 by 6 which is equal to 60 but what happens if the pentagon is given in your numerical then the number of sides will be 5 so 360 by 5 equal to 72 degree so then the exterior angle will become 72 degree in the case of pentagon in the case of hexagon so this is basically the exterior angle but where is the exterior angle located actually so in this figure concentrate in this figure this is the x axis you can see this is the x axis i am extending the x axis in the negative side then this outer angle this outer angle is known as exterior angle this is exterior angle which is 60 as of now because it is a regular hexagon so this angle will be 60 but this line is a straight line the red line is a straight line you can see so total angle will be 180 okay linear pair so the outer angle is 60 right now so the inner angle like this this total angle will be 180 minus 60 so it is 120 so that's why this is known as interior angle 60 is the exterior angle 
180 minus 60 is equal to 120 which is interior angle and out of the interior angle or uh, again there are five forces coming out from the same vertex so a is the origin which is given in the figure actually so from point a you can see the number of forces are acting let us see what type of forces first one is 500 newton second one is 400 newton outward from the vertex origin a again 300 newton force again 200 newton force outward from the vertices a the last force is 100 newton outward from the vertex so there are five forces which are dividing interior angles so this interior angles should be divided into how many parts 1 2 3 4 so total is 120 divided by 4 so all the angles are of 30 30 30 30 degree equal so this is the basic phenomena of regular hexagon this is very difficult to understand if your fundamentals are weak so be careful while doing the mechanics of solids be careful with your mathematics and be careful with your physics geometry is most important so this is the regular hexagon which is given in the data what we have to find we have to find out the resultant r its direction theta and its location we have to draw so let us start the same figure in the next page and we will calculate sigma h and sigma v hope you are clear with this calculation let us start so you can see in this figure same figure is written or drawn over here the angle is 30 30 30 and 30 first of all let us start with sigma h and with x axis what is first force 500 angle will be 0 so 500 cos 0 as you can see in the equation what is second force second force in the figure is 400 newton but the angle from the origin or x axis is 30 degree so 400 cos 30 the next force is 300 so 300 cos 60 because this 300 is making 60 degree with x axis like this the last force is sorry third force is 200 and it is vertical so angle with this x axis is 90 so 200 cos 90 and the last force is 100 which is making 30 30 30 30 total 120 degree angle from the x axis you can see over here so answer is 100 cos 120 so this phi are the forces which is to be calculated in your calculator so in the calc c simplification will be like this and the answer of sigma h will be positive 946.41 newton so this is the sigma h while calculating the sigma v all the values are copy pasted only and only the difference is sign is replaced in place of cos as we have discussed in the earlier lecture so now what is the simplification in your calc and what is the answer it will be 746.4 newton also positive so in the same in the previous numericals sigma h is also positive sigma v is also positive so both are positive so resultant will be lying in the first quarter so before that we have to find resultant and direction of the resultant and we will locate that direction in the first quadrant itself let us see the calculation of sigma h uh, sorry calculation of r and theta so this is r under root of sigma h square plus sigma v square sigma h equal to 946.41 and sigma v equal to 746.4 so answer is 1205.32 newton so this is the value of r which is located in the first quadrant you can see over here 1205.32 newton but what is the direction 10 theta means angle mode of sigma v upon sigma h so 746.4 upon 446.1 so answer is 0.788 and while doing 10 inverse in your calci you will get the answer of theta as 38.24 degree because sigma h is positive sigma v is also positive so resultant will be in the first quadrant only so you can see this is the resultant in the first quadrant we have drawn and the theta with x axis is like this 38.24 which is calculated over here so this is the master sum based on hexagon based on pentagon regular hexagon regular pentagon any type of case can be asked in your gtu exam so be careful and just practice this numerical so this is our method 
of resolution of more than two concurrent forces is going on we will be coming up with the next lecture also with some more numericals till then regular practice will be required goodbye students thank you very much